Hi, I'm Ghosty, and this is TLDR Plays, the series where we review games in 5 minutes or less so that you can decide whether they're right for you. Little Goody Two Shoes is a horror narrative adventure game which blends life and dating sim by day with horror and witchcraft by night. With 10 possible endings based around the choices and actions you make in the game, it's time to embark on a mystical fairy tale adventure. Little Goody Two Shoes is set in a hand painted environment, made to feel like you're inside a fairy tale storybook. It brings so much charm to the game, the nostalgic 90s anime style combined with the magical music, it really takes me back to when I watched Sailor Moon as a kid. You play as Elise, a rather brash and ambitious girl who dreams of riches and fortune. She was found in the woods as an infant by an old lady named Holly. She later passed away and left Elise at a rather young age still. Elise is left to look after herself, and the best she can do right now is to help out the other residents in the village to earn money. Elise's character was not what I expected at all, and I actually found her to be kind of bratty. Admittedly, the other townsfolk do often seem unappreciative of her work, and she was abandoned as a child, but she's quite selfish, and it often ties back to her ambitions of being rich. She regularly thinks back to how Holly wouldn't treat people this way, and tries to rectify her actions, but she still does it in a brash and unapologetic way that kind of makes you dislike her at times. To earn money and help out the townsfolk, they've implemented some fun and extremely charming minigames. All of the minigames available to you in the demo are presented in an old arcade machine style, and at the end of it you earn money for the work you've done. As well as helping out the townsfolk during the day, you will do tasks or engage in dialogue to try to lower their suspicion. They do mention the witch a few times, and a mechanic which involves trying to keep suspicion of witchcraft down, but the demo ends before it fully shares how that links specifically to you. There are then three NPCs that are romanceable, and you can progress your relationship further by meeting up with them and going on dates. However, it doesn't go into much detail on this section in the demo, so it's currently unknown what unfolds as you grow your relationships. But you you do get to add little hearts to your locket every time you progress your relationship. Each of these NPCs have a distinct personality, which easily makes you relate to or feel for them, making it a tough choice for who to romance. However, you can befriend all of them, so it's worth talking to them all regularly. Now, with all of these things available throughout the day, you actually have to be quite decisive about what you want to do in your story. There are six time periods, but only three are working periods during the day, and most tasks progress time forward by one. This leaves you to decide between whether you need to play the mini games to earn money, perform another task for a villager, or work on your romantic relationships. On top of this, you need to make sure you're well fed, as that drops by one per time period too. But don't worry, food is easy to get your hands on, as there are different shops around the village that sell food, as well as health and sanity items. So, with all that work to do during the day, what does the night bring? Some strange happenings have gone on during your first day with Elise, but it could have just all been in your imagination. A lot has gone on after all. Once you head to bed, wishing for an easier life, you get your first proper insight into how the horror aspect will be implemented into the game. You enter a strange phantasmagorical realm, stuck in a castle you have never seen before, and although it could just be a nightmare, you need to find your way out. Whilst exploring, you quickly realise you are defenceless when facing the enemies you encounter here, only being able to sprint and outmaneuver them. They can hurt you, but there's no way to fight back, which can get you in a sticky situation if you fail to grab any health items during the day. If you survive the night, you'll find yourself back in your bed, wondering what on earth could have caused that nightmare and if it was as real as it felt. The nighttime sequence is short, but still leaves a lot to the imagination for what's to come. The game does a good job of creating enough suspense and wonder during the demo. It doesn't give much of anything away as to what's going on other than possibly witchcraft, but as it comes to an end, it has me dying to know more. The complete tonal shift between day and night keeps it interesting, and it does a great job in helping incorporate the daily life sim grind without it feeling like a constant chore. Having the nighttime aspect to break it up really makes a difference. The art style is what originally piqued my interest in Little Goody Two Shoes, but the demo has really drawn me in and I can't wait for its release. Little Goody Two Shoes is set to release on the 31st of October, and will be available on Steam, Xbox, PlayStation, and Switch. The demo is also still currently available to play on Steam. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe if you want to hear about all those indie games out there. Bye!